This will be a session uh, on the immune attack on platelets and especially on the immune attack on platelets in immune thrombocytopenia. Immune thrombocytopenia is a relatively rare disorder, uh, let's say with uh, an incidence, an annual incidence of uh, uh, between three and 15 cases per 100,000 inhabitants and uh, prevalence of between 30 and 60 patients uh, uh, in 100,000 inhabitants and it is a condition in which uh, a, an immune reaction, an autoimmune reaction develops against platelets, uh, breaking down platelets, uh, destroying platelets uh, and creating troubles to the patients which is uh, uh, essentially bleeding, uh, especially bleeding when the platelets uh, decreased significantly in number. Now, uh, within the session on the immune attack on platelets, my task is to discuss a, a relatively uh, less known part of the story of the pathophysiology of this disorder, which is the immune attack on the uh, bone marrow precursors of platelets, which are uh, large cells residing in the bone marrow called megakaryocytes. And uh, there is now uh, quite solid evidence that uh, there is an immune attack within uh, the framework of ITP to bone marrow uh, megakaryocytes. Uh, and this immune attack uh, uh, is uh, uh, made possible by the fact that uh, circulating antibody may reach the bone marrow cells, but also by the fact that uh, the immune cells producing antibodies are residing in the bone marrow, long lasting plasma cells, which are the cells which produce uh, auto uh, antibodies and autoantibodies have been found in the bone marrow and several studies have shown that uh, antibodies are present on the surface of bone marrow residing uh, megakaryocytes. So it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting story uh, and what is very interesting is uh, uh, the mechanism through which these antibodies impair platelet production. Uh, and there, are, there is now evidence that uh, not only there is uh, uh, an impaired uh, maturation of megakaryocytes, because megakaryocytes mature in the bone marrow from hematopoietic stem cell precursors, but also uh, of a number of steps which are required to mega for megakaryocytes to produce platelets. Megakaryocytes reside in the bone marrow uh, in an uh, area which is called uh, the osteoblastic niche and while they mature they migrate closer to the vessel wall so to the what is called the vascular niche where they then finally release platelets in the sinusoids in the vessel walls of the bone marrow and what is now known is that these autoantibodies are able to prevent not only megakaryocyte maturation, but also these uh, latest steps in the production of platelets, required for the production of platelets. So they prevent the migration of the megakaryocytes from the bone marrow to the vascular niche. And they also prevent the very last step uh, each megakaryocyte in our bone marrow uh, forms proplatelets, which are long extensions, which go through the uh, endothelium and within the vessel lumen to release the platelets. And in each megakaryocyte produces something like uh, 1,000 platelets. Well, the autoantibodies auto in ITP have been shown to prevent this proplatelet formation and to lead to the generation of abnormal normal proplatelets, which uh, in part explains or contributes to explain the thrombocytopenia. So what, what is now clear is that the thrombocytopenia in ITP is not only a peripheral mechanism in which platelets are destroyed in the circulation by the reticuloendothelial system, but is also a central problem of the bone marrow, so a reduced uh, uh, production of platelets from the bone marrow. and, and this knowledge which is uh, accruing, which is increasing, uh, may help to uh, 
uh, identify new targets for treatment and improve the treatment of these patients.